welcome back. It's time to check in with Bob Bull, sold over at Waxigator Ag Report on this Wednesday. Good morning, Bob. Good morning, Leanne. The people in Pepin County at the dairy breakfast are extremely disappointed. And why is that? Because you won't be here to go to the breakfast again <laughs> this morning and make pancakes and sausage and eat ice cream and all that sort of it's stuff. This, it's this morning? No, no, it's in oh. June, but oh, she okay. won't be here. I just I found I just found out. Well, I'll, I'll make a special trip back just for that. I'll, I'll, I like pancakes. <laughs> all right, yeah, Bob well, will go in my stead. All right, well, you're invited, Robert. I'll tell you, they'd love to have you down there. Okay. And you can't you Is can't it all I can eat? On it's all you cream. can eat. It's okay. all you can eat of everything. Okay. Yes. <laughs> you know, bring your daughter along and uh, come on along. Bring now the whole family. Pancakes, yeah. <laughs> oh, you bet. It's fun time on the farm. Mm -hmm. So, all right, we'll... We'll remind you of that a little yes. bit later on. But, uh, yeah, heard that news. Sorry to see that. I'd like to put out the roster of how many people I've helped drive out of here this morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Wisconsin. <laughs> oh, Bob. You're, you're one of many, Leanne. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right. <laughs> Let's take a look at what's going on this morning in agriculture, shall we? Let's get into the fields. As spring progresses, farmers are making progress in their fields. This week's crop progress report shows farmers now have 6% of their corn planted. That's mainly in the more southern states. Farmers in Texas, Missouri, North Carolina, Kansas, and Tennessee. Texas, they're about 60% or better done with corn planting. But all the rest of the states, at least 10% of their corn in. Early soybeans are also going in down south. Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi all have at least 15% of their beans in the ground. The national bean planting rate about 3%. Now here in Wisconsin, oats and potatoes are going in. State farmers now have about 10% of their oats seeded, 11% of the fall potatoes planted, both about five days ahead of last year. They also finished 12% of their spring tillage. They've rated the winter wheat at 78%, good to excellent, while pastures are rated just 32%, Good to excellent this week. That's because it's been so dry, and that will change, of course, with what's going on outside. So topsoil moisture. The topsoil moisture conditions, though, as of this past Sunday, did back up a little over the past week. Now rated 76% adequate to surplus, 15% short, 9% very short. But again, like pasture conditions, topsoil moisture ratings will be better next week. Well, Agriculture Secretary Tom Vilsack told agricultural journalists in Washington earlier this week that if House Republicans get their way, farmers had better be ready to tighten their financial belts in the new farm bill. Vilsack said 21 of the 29 Republicans on the House Agriculture Committee are also on the Republican Study Committee, which just released its fiscal year 2025 budget proposal. Vilsack pointed out that the plan would slash, in his words, nearly every domestic spending program, including most farm safety net programs at the USDA. Reports from the Data Transmission Network show the proposal would reduce the income cap to $500,000, down from the current $900,000 if more than 70% of farm income is tied to farm production. And no matter what the circumstances, no farmer would get more than $40,000 in subsidies. The plan will also reduce crop insurance subsidies by 14% and new enrollments in conservation programs like CRP, the S Conservation Stewardship Program, and eliminate technical service from the Natural Resources Conservation Service. Tomorrow, we'll look at what the Republicans say they are really proposing. While the Wisconsin Cranberry Growers will soon have a new executive director, Tom Lochner, who has served in that position for the past 35 years, will soon retire, and the group has already hired Dr. Grant Holly, who has many years of experience as an executive director and international consultant to take over. Dr. Holly will join the organization in mid-May. Well, let's go to the market board, where markets were under pressure yesterday. They were both a little bit lower. Beans were lower than corn. Drop on soy oil prices, also some rain in South America. As we look this morning, December corn and wheat both unchanged. November soybeans went another 3 to 4 cents lower overnight, 11.54. Yesterday morning, that price was 11.67. Dairy markets were better yesterday. Both barrel and block cheese went up 3 to 4 cents a pound both at $1.61 a pound, and the butter was up $0.02 cents at two ninety four. And some of our Class three prices even had some nice gains yesterday. April, not much change. That's up $0.03, cents, fifteen forty seven. But we see May back over $17 now at seventeen thirty one, up $0.45. Cents. 
June up 41 at 1765. Prices were higher out through January, and now hopefully we can continue those price increases for cheese and Class 3 milk, and we'll be all set. But right now, farmers are uh, sitting there having coffee or looking out the barn door at all the nice rain that's falling. Yeah, it's definitely needed. Boy, that's for sure. Well, you can drive around my bus route south of Eau Claire. Yes, the, they will be very happy, those farmers <laughs> that yeah. uh, drive through those rural areas. Mm -hmm. yeah. Look for things to turn green in a hurry. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Have a good one. You too. See you tomorrow.